everyone, this is Meg with another Spotlight On video and before I get started I just wanted to mention, obviously you've noticed there is a different background being my heavy rain poster. Um, if you like the plain old white one better, background that is, uh, let me know and I'll change it back. But today was a little bit of an experiment just to see, I don't know if it looked kind of cool. Besides I like this poster, I like showing it off. Back to the video, today I'm going to be talking about Sander Cohen, who in my opinion was the most enigmatic character of Bioshock 1, and a guy who really epitomises the fine line between creative genius and utter insanity. The Wild Bunny by Sander Cohen I want to take the ears off, but I can't. I hop. And when I hop, I never get off the ground. It's my curse, my eternal curse. I really connected with Sander Cohen. I mean, Rapture was built for people like him. It was built for the artist. It was built for, you know, the struggling man. That is what Rapture stands for. It's to give people a chance to be what they can't be back on land for various reasons. I felt like Sander Cohen was the Dali or Monet of this verse. You just knew that his art would never fully be appreciated on land, that is, until after he died. <laughs> I mean, despite the fact that he was utterly insane, I mean, instead of using paper mache, he decided to murder splices horribly for his little art projects. You can see where it spawned from. The pressures that he felt on land, I should imagine, of people not appreciating his creativity. I mean, let's face it, from all the things you pick up and see in Rapture, he's a genius, creatively. You know that no one back on land could comprehend his work, which frustrated him. And even though he found fame in Rapture, that niggly thought in his head just keeps knocking away at him that, you know, I don't think you understand it either. And that's what drives him nuts, this paranoia and this ultimate need for people to to get it. And I think anyone, even remotely creative, can understand that feeling when you create something, whether it's a painting or you write a screenplay or whatever it is. It feels like you're pushing your babies out into the world when you present it to others. And criticism can be quite hurtful sometimes. So Sander Cohen, to me, epitomizes that. I think to get the full Sander Cohen experience, you have to pick up the radios that you find around the verse. It really gives you an insight into his own thoughts and how he sees things, and also the relationship between Sander and Rapture's, I think, biggest and brightest, the people who basically founded Rapture, including Andrew Ryan and Tenenbaum, and etc, etc. Now, what I really wanted to talk about in this video because it combines my two favourite things, deep characters and a great score or piece of music, is Cohen's masterpiece. Now I have to give Gary Scheiman full credit here, full kudos points for creating an amazing piece of music that represents this character so well. On first listen, Cohen's masterpiece sounds quite chaotic, especially at the beginning. There's lots of notes going on over a very wide, you know, range of, of piano key? I don't know all the, the lingo here. But underneath it is this wonderful melody that's both powerful, a little bit sad, and a little bit disturbed. We all know that characters in game usually get a kind of theme, if you will. But this piece of music for Sander Cohen is more than a theme. It's part of the character, it's part of what makes him who he is. I wanted to mention it because the music itself is so representative of the character. It's just genius and it's one of those pieces of music that can amaze you at how technically difficult it is. It disturbs you in some sense and just leaves you feeling like you want more. So as a basic music piece it's amazing but it's basically like a study all laid out there for you to hear. So that's it for the video. Um, I really wanted to talk about Sander Cohen for a little while now because his character is very unusual, very interesting and, and quite scary. And let's face it, as an audience we generally like to think of our killers, I suppose, as people who are very charismatic, a, a bit like Hannibal Lecter, 
you know, someone who's cultured and intelligent and creative. Sander Cohen is someone we can be fascinated by, which is largely what makes him so appealing, I think. So thank you so much for watching. Before I go, I want to say really quickly that I'm bordering on 4,000 subscribers, which still isn't, I mean, no, it's not, com you know when you see a computer, it's like, does not compute? Error? That's kind of like what I feel when I'm trying to comprehend 4,000 subscribers. No, does not compute. It's great though, and I'm really blown away would be the right way to put it, I think. But what I was going to ask was, I need to film a video in commemoration and in thanks to all of you, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I've done quite a few Q&As. I'm not sure if you'd be tired of that by now, so I'm going to ask you guys what you think I should do for this video. I really need help here. I'm not really sure. So, yes, please leave your comments and suggestions in the opinion, opinion section below. That's what I'm going to start calling it, <laughs> the opinion box. So, yes, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in my next video on Thursday. Bye, little moths. Bye! I think someone's viewing next door. I can hear... Doo, doo, doo. At least I hope that's what it is. I watched The Haunting last night and I'm still a little bit creeped out by the, the first few frames. Not to mention the creepy ghost story section on, on the features. Your smile. I think it should be wider. It's really creepy crazy insane people. Why do I keep doing this? Oh, it's the rabbit. I don't like it. The ears. Ah! How vain is that? My arms look squat. There's a character. Fringe! I've got to stop touching my fringe. Stop it. It's like an automatic reflex. I don't mean to do it. It's just really distracting. No one of they- They're like curtains.